Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Recently, a piece of news about China warning the Netherlands has attracted widespread attention. According to reports, China has put forward a strict requirement to the Netherlands, either buy back lithography machines with a total value of 500 billion, or give up patent rights. This news has caused a shock in the semiconductor industry, and has also aroused people's attention to China's independent research and development capabilities and international status in the field of semiconductor manufacturing. This article will conduct an in-depth discussion on the restrictions on the export of lithography machines in the Netherlands, the impact of after-sales service, equipment repurchase solutions, ASML's prospects in the Chinese market, and China's independent research and development. ASML is the world's leading semiconductor equipment manufacturer, and its position in the Chinese mainland market has attracted much attention. According to the data, mainland China is ASML's third-largest market source, accounting for 24% of ASML's revenue. It is worth mentioning that in the second quarter of 2019, the gap between the Chinese mainland market and the Korean market gradually narrowed, showing the potential growth space and importance of the Chinese market. Although ASML has achieved certain results in the Chinese market, it is facing some challenges. The Dutch government has implemented a control ban on the export of lithography machines, limiting the scope of ASML's lithography machine exports to mainland China, limited to old models of equipment. This restriction has had a certain impact on ASML's revenue and after-sales service, which will be explained in more detail below. The export of ASML lithography machines is restricted. The Dutch government has implemented a lithography machine export control ban since September 1 this year, which has had a major impact on ASML's business. According to the Dutch government's ban, ASML's lithography machine export range is limited to twin-scan NXT, 1980Di and below models. This means that ASML cannot provide the latest models of lithography machines to manufacturers in mainland China, which is undoubtedly a huge challenge for the semiconductor industry in mainland China. The Netherlands' restrictions on the export of lithography machines have not only affected ASML's business, but also had a certain impact on the semiconductor industry in mainland China. The semiconductor industry in mainland China is highly dependent on high-end equipment, and ASML's lithography machine is a representative of high-end equipment. Therefore, restrictions on the export of lithography machines may affect the production efficiency and product quality in mainland China. In addition to the limited export of lithography machines, ASML is also facing the problem of being unable to provide after-sales service of lithography machines to manufacturers in mainland China. Lithography machines are indispensable equipment in the semiconductor manufacturing process, and after-sales service is crucial to the maintenance and operation of the equipment. However, due to the restrictions on the export of lithography machines in the Netherlands, ASML cannot provide after-sales service for lithography machines to manufacturers in mainland China, which will undoubtedly cause certain troubles to the semiconductor industry in mainland China. The lack of after-sales service for lithography machines may lead to a decline in the production efficiency of mainland Chinese manufacturers and affect product quality. The competition in the semiconductor industry is becoming increasingly fierce and the advantage of after-sales service has become an important point of competition. If ASML cannot provide adequate after-sales service, manufacturers in mainland China may face a series of problems such as production line downtime and product quality degradation, faced with the Netherlands' restrictions on the export of lithography machines and the impact of after-sales service. Chinese manufacturers have proposed a solution for equipment repurchase. According to reports, Chinese manufacturers have proposed a huge equipment repurchase solution, 
and it is estimated that the repurchase amount may reach 500 billion yuan. The equipment buyback solution is undoubtedly a major test for ASML. If ASML accepts the equipment repurchase plan, it will face huge repurchase pressure, which will have a certain impact on ASML's financial situation. In addition, in the process of equipment repurchase, ASML may lose some patent rights, which will also have a certain impact on ASML's technological advantages and innovation capabilities. Although ASML is facing a series of challenges and restrictions, the Chinese market is still very important to ASML. According to the data, the Chinese market is one of the most important markets in the global semiconductor industry. ASML has extensive partnerships in the Chinese market and hopes to further expand its business and strengthen partnerships with Chinese customers. As the world's leading semiconductor equipment manufacturer, ASML has a strong competitive advantage in the Chinese market. ASML's technical strength and product quality have been highly recognized by Chinese customers, which has laid a solid foundation for ASML's continued success in the Chinese market. At the same time, the potential of the Chinese market is huge and the semiconductor industry in mainland China is in a stage of rapid development, so the prospect of ASML in the Chinese market is still very broad. In the face of the Netherlands' restrictions on the export of lithography machines, and the equipment repurchase solutions proposed by Chinese manufacturers, China's independent research and development efforts will become particularly important. China has been increasing its independent research and development efforts in the field of semiconductor manufacturing, hoping to achieve independent control and breakthroughs in high-end equipment. China's independent R&D efforts are significant. On the one hand, China's independent research and development can realize independent control of high-end equipment such as lithography machines, and reduce dependence on imported equipment. On the other hand, independent research and development can enhance the competitiveness and innovation capabilities of China's semiconductor industry, and realize the transformation from made in China to created in China. To sum up, the Netherlands' restrictions on the export of lithography machines and the equipment repurchase solutions proposed by Chinese manufacturers have had a major impact on ASML. ASML, as the world's leading semiconductor equipment manufacturer, is facing the problem of limited export of lithography machines and after-sales service. However, the Chinese market is still very important to ASML. ASML hopes to further expand its business in China and establish a closer cooperative relationship with Chinese customers. At the same time, China's independent research and development efforts will also have a significant impact on the development of China's semiconductor industry. China hopes to achieve independent control of high-end equipment through independent research and development, reduce dependence on imported equipment, and enhance the competitiveness and innovation capabilities of China's semiconductor industry. In the future, with the continuous development and growth of China's semiconductor industry, ASML's position and prospects in the Chinese market will be further improved. At the same time, China's independent research and development efforts will also inject vitality and impetus into the development of China's semiconductor industry. It is believed that with the joint efforts of both parties, the cooperation between China and ASML will usher in a better tomorrow.